It's the Jane and Larry Show. Hello, Jane. Hello, Larry. Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the Jane and Larry Show. Jane, how are you doing this week? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm mostly doing okay. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. I'll, I'll tell mm. you that. I got a little bit lightheaded today, and I wondered, Ooh. like, is that the lack of sleep? Or is it the or, Rona? Is it the what? The Rona? Rona? Yeah, it could, it could be the Rona. Uh, first of all, I just want the audience to know we are more than six feet apart physically. We are on a Zoom call, in case you can't tell. Um, second of all, just for your sake and my sake as your friend, hope you're staying healthy. And third, as for sleep deprivation, Jane, as a person in my 40s, I feel like I let go of the ability, nay, the assumption of a good night's sleep. Right low a good 20 years ago so i'm happy for you that you made it this long well i think i, I think i'm mostly resentful because i mm-hmm. went several years without a good night's sleep and just in the mm-hmm. last 18 months i was starting they were starting to come back again and in the last uh oh six nice. months uh it's been a little bit uh up and down and just this last week it was like crap sleep crap sleep crap sleep Ooh. yeah Oh, I'm sorry. Which, again, because we're not in our 20s anymore, mm. hurts the back a lot more. And, like, it's, it's all oh, yeah. cranky and cricky. I spent my afternoon carrying uh, boxes of books out of a small room in our building's basement mm-hmm. and then uh, carrying them back into the small room, but in a slightly different order than the boxes were before. My back is thanking me now. Also, apologies, folks at home, if my, uh, my camera angle is a little funky. I, I moved my camera to be a little more centered, and I had to move this piece of duct tape that was attaching it to my monitor because that's just where I'm at. And uh, the duct tape is apparently a little loose. We'll get, it all, we'll get into all of this in uh, the, the extended edition of these videos, right. which um, I'm not posting on YouTube, but just email me if you want to see them. They're all on my hard drive. What else is on your hard drive, Larry? Uh... How long have we known each other now? Ten, ten years? Uh, maybe twelve. Maybe twelve. Yeah. You can ask me in another three years. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. The contents of my hard drive are personal. Um, oh. Let's see. There's some uh, Star Trek fanfic. Uh huh. There are a fair number of pictures of my dog. Uh huh. Various out of print uh, 1970s horror movies through. I, which were acquired through uh, uh, means. Um, you know, speaking of means, means, the fact that we're talking means, it's time oh. to review another candidate video. That's right. That's right. And today, who are we reviewing today? We're going to be reviewing Jay Farkey. Who Jay might Farkey. Nothing about other than his name. Great. Do we know which party Jay belongs to? Uh, I think maybe The Rock. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. Sure. All right, so Jay Farkey for president. All right, and folks, we are going to do a little screen share here. Now, Jane, have you enabled what? screen share for the I Zoom? I thought I did. I thought uh, I did. Ah, you did, you did, yeah. you did. We're good. Look at this. Look at this. We're still seeing each other. We're seeing the video. No. Now, I did forget to share my audio with the screen share, which is literally the whole point that we started this segment again. Folks, you're getting a little peek behind the curtain here because I don't know how to edit this out. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, Jay Farkey, take okay. us away. It's 3 a.m. It is. Take a look behind me here. Uh, appears to be on a street. Stop. Stop. This is a diner, so they say. I... You know what's wrong with this picture? No. This diner is closed for the night. Mm-hmm. Right? Diners. It's called a diner. Diners are supposed to stay open. Important decisions are made in the presidency at 3 a.m., and one of the diners that's closest to the White House is closed. Ooh. That button. Hmm. How are we to make tough decisions if we can't get our pancakes and scrambled eggs or a hamburger if we so choose at 3 a.m.? Doesn't, doesn't he have a chef for that? Must change. Got a point. Bill. And as your president, I will make sure if they call themselves a diner, they will be open. Always. Okay. I'm Jay Farkey, and I am running for president of the United States. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I, uh, hmm. Powerful message. It is. Powerful message from Jay. But my, 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 he's talking about it being closed at 3 a.m. But yes. if he's the president, he has 24-7 staff to make him a grilled and, cheese 
It's if he's the president, he should be able to eat wherever he damn well pleases. Yeah. Well, what if I'm What if I'm awake at three? Diner? I'm sorry. Would he just be able to force open a diner as, as president? He has the full power of the presidency behind him. He could probably do whatever he wants. Right. Jane, I would point you to our earlier conversation All about right. being up at night of an evening. Let's say it's 3 a.m. Now, I'm not the president. Mm. I'm just some guy on a YouTube talk show. But let's say it's 3 a.m. and I've got a hankering for some pancakes. Yeah. What am I to do? Lay there in bed and wish, dream of what might be? Or should I go down the street and be able to get a pancake. I think this guy is really speaking to the average American here. Okay, well, I think okay, all right. You're starting to win me over because I'm thinking the the like economic uh, implications of this. Uh, mm -hmm. We are, as you know, right now in a in a serious downturn. Uh huh. If you're forced to stay open, then that is uh, that provides more um, employment for jobs. Mm -hmm. Jobs. Uh, um, more more eggs. More, yeah, of course. Helping the farm uh, industry. Right. Farm industry. Mm -hmm. Farm right? industry. Industrial and, okay. farms. Okay. So diners open at 3 a.m. And I, oh. Go ahead. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was just going to say it, it might actually help the innovation industry in this country. Because when do you get your best ideas? Middle of the night. Middle of the night. You're usually, you sleep through them. But what if you were able to get up and go to a diner at 3 in the morning? Okay. 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 All right. You could be the next Tesla. Nikola or are you talking about Elon Musk? You know, either one. I don't know which of the yeah. two has had access to a 3 a.m. diner, but they were both pretty successful. Yeah, my guess is it's probably Musk had the probably 3 Musk. diner. Yeah. Just the Musk has sort of a 3 a.m. diner name. Right. So I'm sorry, Jane, you were uh, going to make a point. Oh, I don't remember what it was now. I still don't. Look, I can, I can kind of see what you're saying. I can see where you're leaning and where you're coming from. I'm not sure I trust this guy, though. There's something, I don't know, there's something about him. Like, he just seems like a single issue candidate. Diner mm -hmm. 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. I ask you. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Is it the beard? I've recently grown mine back after uh, oh. several months on furlough. Right. And I do know that beards can make some men look, um, what's the opposite of trustworthy? Untrustworthy. Untrustworthy. Suspicious? What a great word. Suspicious. Suspicious. Yeah, that too. Yeah. So is it his beard that's throwing you off? Or is it the fact that he seems to have a singular, literally singular focus on this diner issue? Um, okay. You know, I guess if we're talking implicit bias, because, mm -hmm. you know, we, we always are. Have, we always have him. It might be the beard. It might be. I mean, I've, there, it, you, do, you, right. do you think that my beard makes me look untrustworthy? Uh, well, I don't know if I didn't already know you that I would trust you that much. Okay. Oh. Beard guy. Well, folks, I'm going to give Jay Farkey a, a thumbs up and Jay, I'll see you at the diner at three. What, what are you doing with this one, Jay? I don't know what to do with this guy. I no, I'm I'm gonna give him a thumbs down. I think he needs to shave, and I think he needs to uh, to get another issue. I feel like single issue candidates lack vision. Wow, or is it that they have too much vision, but they only see one thing? A lot to think about. <laughs> Folks, we'll ponder that and more on more editions of the Jane and Larry Show. Bye-bye.